Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're not doing anything special. Um, we're just cleaning my dishes. It's been like a week since I've done any dishes. We had zero silverware left to use. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just cleaning up the kitchen. Um, but in this video, we're literally just loading the dishwasher and cleaning the dishes. Um, a little backstory, I've already done some of them before I decided to film the rest, but that's fine because there's plenty for you to watch. It's a little embarrassing. Don't judge me, but we all get behind. So yeah, we're just real life over here cleaning our dishes after we haven't done it for days and it's just desperately time. So let's get right on into it. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Okay, so we are at the sink and we are at the dishwasher. We've got some hot water running and we are going to start with the silverware. Um, most of it at least. Like I said in the beginning of this video, we had zero silverware left in our drawer. Bubble was resorting to plastic cutlery. Um, so here we are. We are cleaning the dishes finally. It's about time. Look at all of those. It's crazy. Anyways, um, I am just rinsing everything out, making sure it's all clean before it goes into the dishwasher. Um, I don't have the best dishwasher, um, but even if I did, I would still rinse things out because I just don't believe that it really cleans it if they're dirty when you put them in there. You know what I'm saying? Especially like stuck on stuff. It just doesn't work that well. Anyways, so cups on top. Um, I'm interrupting myself. This is one of my straws that I use and I'm cleaning it with a straw cleaner and I look through them to make sure everything is fully out of there. And sometimes there's like some water droplets happening. So I'll blow those out just to make sure it's clean before I put it in the dishwasher to get washed. Um, and now I forgot what I was saying before that, but that's totally fine. So we are, we've got bowls, we've got cups, we've got forks, we've got spoons, we've got knives, we've got plates, we've got mason jars, we've got just all sorts of things. Um, that's my little cup cleaner for my mason jars because I can't put my hand all the way in them. So I use that little cleaner on a stick to get into the bottom of them because coffee kind of just stays in the bottom of the cups. But, you know, you get it. And, yeah, just cleaning everything off, making sure everything looks nice and clean before it goes into the dishwasher. I have a few different sponges. I have the scrub daddy when I'm cleaning and then I have like just one of those cheap like Brillo on one side, sponge on the other sponges if I'm really scrubbing because I don't want to like ruin my scrub daddy which is probably stupid but it's just how it goes in my cleaning world. I don't really understand either so that's just it just is what it is. But as you can see on the right side of me, I've already cleaned those dishes before I decided to film this, but they're there. So, you know, all of those were also dirty before I started. Um, but I put the cups on the top in any bigger spoons that I don't feel like washing on the top as well. And then plates and bowls go on the bottom and then mason jars also have to go on the bottom. And now everything I think is in the dishwasher, so I'm just spraying all of my pans and bigger washing items that don't go in the dishwasher with the Dawn Power Wash. And I will say, Dawn Power Wash is absolutely worth it. It's a little bit more spendy, but it works so good, it's shocking. And on my wooden spoons with food when it gets caked on there you just spray it leave it for a second and it comes off so easily it's seriously mind-blowing and I don't really understand how it works but if you don't have it you should get it because it's perfect and I don't put my wooden spoons in the dishwasher because they get moldy if I put them in there I've made that mistake and had to throw them away it's like they're in a moist environment for too long and it just can't handle it so I just wash them and put them back where they go so they can air dry but I am now just cleaning the things that were either really caked on or are too big to put in the dishwasher with the Dawn Power Wash. And I will say again, it is totally worth it if you don't have it. It just works wonders and I love it. 
it's just my new best friend. I need a new bottle soon. But yeah, just washing out this big old bowl that actually was in the dishwasher, but I needed more space in the dishwasher for actual dishes um, and decided that I would rather wash the one bowl than like, you know, a few plates and bowls. And this had, I think we cooked hamburgers in it maybe. So there's a lot of like greasiness on it and some, you know, meat pieces, if you will. Um, and the Dawn Power Wash just gets that stuff right off of there. And the other two plates, I mean, you can just see it. It's working so well. Like, the soap has changed colors because it's just breaking it down. <laughs> I, this is like a Dawn Power Wash commercial, but it's really good. Um, and I do sometimes use my fingers if there's something harder that gets stuck on. Um, because it's just easier than scrubbing for years to try and get it off and I did spray that other pan again because most of it came off but there was a little left so I wanted to let it sit for a little bit longer but this pan was nasty the one I'm currently washing and with this Dawn Power Wash it just comes right off I don't even I don't know I'm not a scientist I don't know how things work but it does work and it makes it so much easier to clean especially when you have 87 billion dishes in your sink it's just so nice to not have to, like, really think about it. And you can just clean them super easy. And you don't have to let them soak forever. None of that anymore. You can just knock it out when you're trying to knock it out, and it's perfect. And this pan was pretty dirty, too. That's when I sprayed twice. And here we are just cleaning it off, making sure everything's off. We're going to give it one more clean because there's still a little food left on there. And then it will be clean as well. And that, I believe, is my last dish to wash. And there you go. It's clean. Totally clean. Now, I am cleaning out my sink drain catchers now. And I'm doing it a little off camera because it's, like, kind of gross. And I don't want to trigger anyone. Um, just nasty food that gets in there we have a septic tank so we and yes i did just spray water past me onto the floor so that was cool but we um have a septic tank so we don't want food to go down the drain so we have these little drain catchers but it it's not gross because it's food unless that grosses you out but it looks kind of gross so decided to take that off camera for you and now i'm just cleaning out all of my sponges and making sure all the soaps out and trying to squeeze all the water out of them so I could put them back in my sponge holder. And now we're just gonna rinse out the sink and then I'm going to spray some bleach in it just to sanitize it a lot nicer and make sure it's clean because it's been dirty for so long. I like to spray some bleach in there. I like to let that sit for a little while just so it can work its magic. So while it's sitting, I'm going to put the soap into the dishwasher and start that baby up so in a little while I can unload it woo um now we're gonna dry some dishes so I start with the spoons because those are the easiest and yeah so all my wood spoons and my spatulas are going to go back in my utensil holder I'm gonna call it and then we're just going to dry all of our big items that we didn't put into the dishwasher and put those away so they are out of the way so I can clean the countertops. I don't show you that in this video because it was all about the dishes, but I did clean the countertops because they needed it and you can't just partially clean your kitchen. You got to clean the kitchen. So that's what I did. And now we're back to scrubbing the bleach out of the sink. I took off my jacket so it didn't get any bleach on it, but I'm just using a sponge that's specifically for this. I do not clean my dishes with this and it goes back underneath the cabinet when I am done, but I'm just trying to get any food residue off of it and make sure the sink is pretty and clean and ready for its next set of dirty dishes because that's really its next step in life because that's just how that goes and I just wash it out and then after that I clean the countertops and behind the sink and we were done so all the dishes are clean 
I'm trying to wash my hands and I have no soap, so that's cool. So we're going to use some Dawn Power Wash, but thanks for watching. So what'd you think? Has your kitchen ever been so crowded with dishes? It was a little stressful, but it's clean and it just takes so much weight off of your shoulders when it's done. It's amazing, really. So I'm very happy that that is over with. Now I'll just have to unload the dishwasher when it is clean, but it is running. So everything is getting sanitized and we are happy about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today while we just cleaned some dishes. I hope I could inspire you to do the same um, if you have dishes in your sink today. But I will say, don't do it if you have more fun plans. Just, I've seen this post on Facebook a lot. Just put a towel over it because you can always do it later. It is not the most important thing in your life. But it does make me feel better that mine is done. So, yay! Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, as Graham says. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!